biggest fear was going to my grave, not knowing what happened to my daughter Jenny, and not knowing who took her and everything away from her. Deb Luth is still waiting for answers about what happened to her daughter. In 1996, Jennifer Luth and Diana Shawcroft went to a convenience store a couple of blocks from their home. They never returned. Three months later, their bodies were found in a remote area 100 miles north of Phoenix. So far, this case has never been solved. Even though this is a, an old case, this is more than 10 years old, that this is not a forgotten case, that we continue to try to solve this case. Glendale detective Roger Geisler believes the odds are on his side. He works on the Luth Shawcroft case and other Glendale cold cases. And now he has a powerful new tool to help him solve these crimes, the internet. Glendale's newly revamped cold case website gives the public an opportunity to assist the police in solving old homicides. In the cold case website, we have cases ranging from 1978 all the way into uh, 1996. The website has pictures of the victims, their case number, and a description of what happened at the time of their murder. There are two reasons Detective Geisler believes all of these cold cases are solvable. First, technology has evolved. Back then, pieces of evidence or items that were overlooked were overlooked because they, there wasn't a technology to analyze those, those items. And now I can go back through technology and look at those items and see if they could be analyzed for DNA. Second, and more importantly, someone out there knows what happened, and they may be ready to finally share that information. People's relationships with a perpetrator or other witnesses, those things change, those commitments to them change, and so people may uh, be more apt to come forward with information. We need to be pointed in a direction for a perpetrator to locate so that we can get those cases rolling again. Each case listed on the website gives people an option to submit tips online. They can also remain anonymous if they choose and provide information through silent witness. We want people to call us, um, even if they don't want to leave their own personal information. The cold cases have become deeply personal to Detective Geisler. He hasn't forgotten about victims like Jenny Luth. He's immersed himself in each case, getting to know each victim. It's important to understand their, their uh, lifestyles, um, and that really brings a personal connection, especially to uh, some of the cases where this person was a true victim. They did nothing. They didn't provoke anybody. This dedication gives comfort to the victims' families. Like Detective Geisler, they see the cold case website as a powerful tool to gain justice for their loved one, and they're asking for your help. Don't be afraid to come forward and tell what you know. Any kind of information might be the key to come on to our website. Hopefully, we'll give people an avenue to report what they know. Even if they don't think it's important, it could very well be the answer. The main thing is getting that information out to get that case solved and get that, that solved for the family of the victim. The right tip submitted on the cold case website cannot only crack the case and send the perpetrator to trial, but give the families peace. Glendale's cold case website will be periodically updated. The more people viewing this website means more chances to solve one of these cases. It brings these victims back to life for people that are looking at this website. You can check out the cold case website at glendaleaz.com. Go to the police department page and click on cold case information.